season of the splicer is coming to a close and if you're anything like me you probably procrastinated to the end of the season to decide to do everything in one week because you hate yourself so i've boiled down the five things that you probably want to do before doing anything else i have tried to make this list as accessible to as many people as possible so don't expect things like gm farming or master vog so let's start with the first and foremost thing that most people already have done but a lot of people don't finish the storyline the storyline for this season has been a roller coaster of ups and downs it's been amazing and i honestly think you should finish it plus there's plenty of incentives to do so plenty of loot lots of xp and just general fun so uh go finish it like now it takes like probably an hour and a half two hours now since all the quests are out now so be prepared to do a lot of override complete the splicer seasonal title now for this title it does require you to go out of your way and do certain things like expunge and upgrading your splicer gauntlet and all this stuff but completing the splicer seasonal title is a good time waster it's a it's a good way to spend your time and you'll have a nice cool title and i think splicer as a title is just pretty cool turn in all of your vanguard tokens every single one next season they are replacing the vanguard reputation system to be more akin to the gambit and crucible one so make sure to turn in all of your vanguard tokens it's going to be quite a feat because a lot of us have way more tokens than we have any business holding like me i have like probably ten thousand. yeah have fun with that make sure to grind all of the seasonal weapons and armor that you want for example ignition code stochastic variable uh whatever else people grind in this season yeah it's incredibly easy to get good weapons this season with corrupted expunge so I recommend go running Corrupted Expunge Labyrinth or Tartarus. Those are good ones to run, and they're pretty quick too. They can get done within 5 minutes, and you have really good weapons and armor to grind. So go get that loot. Make sure to finish all of your transmog bounties. You have 10 bounties per character, meaning you have 10 pieces of armor for each of your characters to get through transmog. And this cap will reset next season so if you still haven't finished three bounties it's not going to allow you to do 13 next season it's only going to allow you to do 10 so make sure you finish those transmog bounties because everyone knows that fashion is the end game and there's no exceptions and lastly and probably the most grindy try and bring all of your characters as close to 1310 as possible 1310 will be the starting power of next season and assuming that it's going to be anything like season of arrivals it's probably going to have a dungeon and if not there's still going to be a seasonal activity that you're going to be want to be ready for make sure all your characters are as close to 1310 as possible make sure to do all your pinnacles if you can get in some lfg groups do some nightfalls do some vogs see whatever you can do to get to 1310 because trust me if there's a dungeon next season and there probably will be it's gonna be pretty nice so that's just my quick fire list of five things you need to do before the season ends Make sure to feel free to leave a like and or dislike if you feel so inclined to do so. And make sure to hit that subscribe button to keep up things with my post whenever I decide to post them. So anyway, hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And uh, yeah, see ya.